Okay, starting with French stretch kicks. Two years ago, these are not great. Um, you can especially tell I'm just jutting my upper body forward to make this kick happen and just trying to use my whole body to throw my leg into the air. My chest is caving forward. I think I'm using a lot of my quad to raise my leg instead of my hip muscles. Uh, these are not great. Though they are pretty powerful and fast, I am not engaging the right muscle groups to make it a very good kick. A couple years later, it, the kick still has a lot of issues to it. Um, if you watch my upper body, it's definitely not caving as much as it used to, but you can see in my right arm especially, there's a lot of movement, um, and it could be higher, it could be a lot closer to my forehead. Uh, so these have gotten better in that they're using better using the correct muscle groups in my hip rather than just throwing my whole body into my kick, but yeah, there are, there are better things and there are things that are just kind of different or the same. All right, next one, front slap kick or dan pai jiao. A main, a big thing that I notice is that I just lack a lot of confidence in where I'm putting my power. It's just kind of dissipating after the slap. I don't blame myself for having really, really gentle slaps and slams here in that, first of all, I'm on concrete, and second of all, when you're training by yourself, I find it, at least personally, a lot harder to emphasize things with any confidence. It just feels really awkward. It's almost as if you're like, <laughs> sitting in a room talking to yourself or talking to a camera like I am now um, it's just kind of awkward but now I think the power is a lot more directed it is loud it is going it is exploding off of the slap a little bit more and that uh, combo and that combo is uh, drilling itself into the ground I think in a more powerful way honestly I think these combos are some of my favorite combos in Changshuan. They're just a lot of fun to throw your weight around and make a lot of noise. I think one big room for improvement though is making it look more visually explosive. I've seen a lot of people, after you slap your foot, you explode, uh, you explode either backwards or like moving forwards or just very dynamically to really emphasize that hit. And I'm not doing that here, um, and I think it probably would look more dramatic or cool if I added some, if I added some of that. All right, next kick. Uh, I grouped snap kicks together and side thrust kicks in that um, they're both bent to extended kicks. The snap kicks, I think though there's not anything technically wrong with them, they just look really awkward and fresh to me, like it's almost like I haven't done them before. Though I've done them some before this, uh, but not really deliberately focused. And then the side thrust kicks, oh boy, <laughs> I think... I think that side thrust kicks are the hardest move in wushu to make look non-terrible. Like just crossing the threshold from terrible to non-terrible is very, very difficult. Uh, you can tell here I'm pretty off balance and my kick, it's not moving in a straight line. It's not pushing force in a very clear direction. It's just kind of, my leg is just kind of extending into space uh, kind of endlessly. All right, fast forward a few years, front snap kicks. Uh, these. I mean, also nothing like technically wrong with them. I think they could be more dramatic or interesting in some way, um, but definitely a lot more comfortable and more confident, especially training with a coach um, to like know how to pronounce how they should be exaggerated. And then side thrust kicks, though these still have a lot of room for improvement, I am pretty pleased with the progress on them. My coach is from the era where it was required to hold your side thrust kick for difficulty for a couple seconds, so that's the way that he's training me. He does note often that my foot, my kicking foot, has a lot of bouncing in it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a deduction or just something that looks like not very good or not very powerful, but that is a big uh, space for improvement. Though overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with how these kicks have improved. A lot more control in my hip a lot more intentionality in where the force is going, though it's still mm, not perfect, but not nearly as bad as it was. <laughs> Moving on from our kicks, next let's look at my Mabu Gongu transitions. So these ones, I will be the first to admit that they have not improved that much over the past couple years. I think I have gotten more stronger and more flexible, but I haven't really deliberately been working on them. Uh, you can tell there's kind of a little bit of bounce in each step, like my hips kind of fall into the stance 
rather than moving in a nice straight line. And there's not much of a snap between my mabu and my gongbu, between my horse stance and my bow stance. The transition is taking, you know, maybe half a second. Uh, and then because I haven't really worked on them uh, for <laughs> a couple years, they don't—they haven't gotten that much better. Um, though, other than just me being a little bit stronger and a little bit more flexible. Yeah, still not a very quick transition, um, and there's still a lot of bounce in my hips as I sit into my horse stance. So, okay, so pubu chuanzhang or threading drop stance. These, I mean, I'm doing it deliberately very slow here, probably focusing on something, but you can tell a couple things. One, my hips are very tight, and so I'm just kind of jetting my butt backwards. Um, because I can't open my legs out to the side to make enough I can't open my legs out to the side enough to make it really smooth second of all the turn between each uh, Drop stance just kind of It's just kind of a little spin. I'm not really pushing through the ground to turn my body It's more of like a little ballerina turn or a pivot Nowadays, I think, I mean, my hips are more open and so the movement, the movement just goes a lot more smoothly. Uh, I would still say I'm not really doing a great job of turning with my feet between those drop stances, um, but overall a lot smoother and my hips are slightly more open, though I'm still kind of sticking my butt out in each one. All right, next one, uh, Wulong Panda or arm wheel, or really arm, you can call it whatever you want, a black dragon. Um, here's me a couple of years ago. Really awkward <laughs> in that there is, it's, it's very clunky. There is no connection between my upper and my lower body. Here's the movement a couple months later, much smoother, but there's still not a great connection between my upper and lower body. They're almost like moving independently of each other. Yeah. A lot smoother though, just not very powerful and not very connected between the upper and lower body. And here we are now-ish. Uh, I think the main thing that I noticed that's a big difference is how I'm pushing through the ground to get my body to do the turn, which just allows me to be a lot more powerful and dynamic in the movement. And an extra little combo there. All right, last one. This is the one that I am the most proud of, which is my body turns. Uh, a couple years ago, these were super duper hella awkward. You can tell, so I'm supposed to be on a straight line here with my arms. They're supposed to be vertical. Uh, I'm trying my best, not quite there, and also pretty frequently just kind of falling off balance because I'm not very comfortable in this range of motion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a couple months later, these are a lot smoother, though still way, still definitely not hitting that vertical axis with my arms. But I guess that one's kind of a subjective correction in that depending on who you ask, that might be something that does or doesn't make the wushu correct. And the shuan yao here. So this movement, I have a problem then that I still have now, which is that I'm not really extending completely to either the left or the right. I am definitely extending to the back, but I kind of cut the corners on either side. If you watch a really good athlete do it, they'll be way, way, way more extended to the left and the right. Um, also, I'm pretty off balance. Nowadays, the body turns are a lot smoother. They're not quite on a vertical line. Uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, but they are so much smoother and so much more powerful. I think in the Shuan Yao, in that sideways turn, this one, I'm still not extending all the way to either side though, so that's, that's a lot of room for improvement. But uh, I don't fall over nearly as much as I used to, so that's pretty good. <laughs> 